Ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, my name is Raven and welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to another possible Heroes video slash Raven's Ramble. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Harbinger. And today I'm going to be mixing the uh, upcoming Warhammer Viking hero with uh, the Harbinger theme. I've smashed it together and I've come up with a hero that I would like to see. And this guy's got a brand new mechanic as well and a few combo moves I think would be really, really cool. But of course, this is just speculation and what I would like to see from the brand new Warhammer hero that we are confirmed to be getting very, very soon. So feel free to leave down below in the comment section what you would like to see from this guy and what you are expecting. Now, first of all, I jump into what the weapons look like, but we already know what the weapon looks like because we had it teased. I'll put it up on screen. So yeah, it's going to be a uh, two-handed hammer. At least I hope to God it's two-handed. I don't want the guy to have just like, you know, a one-handed hammer. It has to be big. It has to be two-handed. And I want to crush some people's fucking skulls in with this thing. But yeah, the weapon right now is solid. It's there. We know roughly what it's going to look like, which is cool. But next, we're going to move over to the armor. Now, I want to see a Viking hero in this game that is heavily armored. He can still show some skin. That way, you can have some tattoo options and some cool stuff there. But I want to see him wear some more heavy armor. Now, I'm talking some plate armor. I want to see some chain mount in there. And I want to see different variations of uh, armor made from pelts and bones and stuff, okay? So I want to see, like, you know, bear bones and bear pals, like big bear helmet things things going on. I want to see like, you know, wolf pelts and wolf helmets and wolf armor and stuff like that. Just lots of fur mixed with lots of heavy armor, like the plates. You got the chain mount with the leathers and just it all mixed together. I want a heavier version of the current Vikings that we have in the game. I want a guy who looks like he can take a fucking hit before he crushes your soul into the ground. And the best part about the bones and the fur is you can make some really awesome looking armor and also like, you know, armor variations from that. You can have an entire set built around that bare fur and like, you know, the bear, you know, bones and everything and then you can have a completely different looking set which would look awesome based around the wolves and you can have one based around raven bones whatever the fuck you want you could just do it like that and it would be awesome because it would add a ton of variation to the one character in terms of the actual armor itself not to mention it would be viking as fuck and this guy is going to be a heavy so i want him to be big i want him to be massive and i want his play style to also be big and massive i want him to hit like a goddamn bus and i want people to be scared to fight the guy i want them to be like okay this is like seven foot tall giant dude coming at me with fucking bear furs and plate armor and a giant mask. I'm gonna get my head crushed in this is gonna suck I want there to be that feeling of dread when you're facing the harbinger and when you're playing as the harbinger I want you to have that feeling of I can just basically pick up the world and break it over my knee whenever I want That's the type of that's what I want from this thing And I'm really really hoping that we get something along those lines Give me some really heavy armor. Give me a lot of furs. Give me some leather Give me some bones like you know put in there like bone shoulder pads and shit Give me some fur helmets and everything I want him to be big imposing and look like a boss and one last note when it comes to the Warhammers, you could have that purely match whatever he is. Once again, if you're going for the bear theme with that armor and he's got like, you know, these big bear furs on, he's got these bear bones all over him, you can make the uh, mace that he's using bear shaped, okay? So you can make it like a giant fucking like, you know, two-handed bear heads on each side and he just like crushes people into the ground with that. When you do the raven set, you could basically have like the full raven set going on, but you could have the ravens there with their claws out. So, you know, four-sided claw hammer thing and you're fucking clawing people to death with their talons. There's tons of things you could do in terms of the weapons if you match it with the armor sets and you bring it all together and ubisoft has always done one good thing with for honor and that is hands down the way the game looks the armor sets and everything like that when they actually do do armor sets they do a fucking really really good job with it same with weapons they've always done an amazing job and i have no doubt they could pull something like this off either with the harbinger this new viking hero when we get him or, of course, with a brand new hero in the future. Please, Ubisoft, for the love of God, consider doing something like this. Next up, we're going to talk about his actual gameplay and what I want to see from the guy. Of course, he is a heavy, so I want lots of unblockables and I want lots of hyper armor, okay? I want to be trading blows with this guy. You throw a fucking heavy attack out for like 30 damage, I want to hit you back with a big heavy attack for like 50 damage. Why not? Of course, balancing aside, we're going to have to balance this thing. But the idea is there. I want him to hit like an absolute bus and I don't want him to have stupidly fast light attacks, but I do want him to have something along the lines of, of every like you know third unblockable in the chain is uh, you can't parry it okay it just goes through so you have to dodge it instead something to mix it up or you know every second unblockable does the same thing maybe same with the hyper armor something along those lines you can't parry it you kind of have to dodge the thing or block it but of course if it's the unblockable version of it then you have to dodge it this is a good way to allow the guy to be a heavy character throwing out lots of heavy attacks and he doesn't have to rely on being a heavy guy but we have to give him 400 ms lights so that way it's easy for him to actually lay some decent damage down instead 
instead of throwing out these heavies and just getting parried all the time. Some sort of mechanic like that could be cool, but of course, if you make it for every single attack, that could be extremely overpowered, defeats parry mechanics, so on and so forth. But if you make it so that every, like, you know, second unblockable in a chain and you have lots of chains revolving around that, it's an unblockable, but you can't parry it, so you have to dodge it. That would be cool. Give it a new little icon. I reckon that'd be a good way to fit the theme a lot more, make him a heavy character, make him hit hard, and make it balanced. But I also want to add a brand new mechanic to the game when it comes to this character, and that is called the weight of reality. Now, first of all, he has a giant fucking hammer, so trust me, you'll know the weight of reality when he hits you with it. But the way this move works is it's a passive, okay? So every single unblockable from this character, when it hits you, it does damage, and it puts a crush effect on you. You. Now, the crush effect will slow the target's movement speed by a percentage for X amount of time. Now, that comes down to balancing, okay? So, whatever, you know, the percentage would be is balance-wise. Whatever the uh, time duration for the uh, effect will be, that is also balance-wise. That's up to the dev team to figure that out. But I reckon it's a really, really cool mechanic that they could add in there. Too many times, you're facing a big heavy dude. He hits you with some big heavy attacks, and you're like, eh, no, nah, I'm just going to run away. That's really fucking annoying. The way to reality with the crush mechanic will be a good way to basically smack the person and then they can't run away and it only works off unblockable so you know once again flows into that whole chain thing where you have to dodge them because if you don't they're unparryable and you get crushed by it and you get the weight of reality uh, passive on top of you so you get crushed and then of course you're slower for a duration so you can't run away you sort of have to keep fighting or he's gonna catch you he may be big but you know he's gonna catch you and when he catches you he's gonna fuck you and let's be honest no one wants to be fucked by one of these giant viking dudes so one of your only options is gonna be to pretty much fight the guy and do the best you can but it would be awesome having that weight of reality passive with the crush mechanic flowing in with the uh, unblockable you know you can't be parried type thing in chains that would be a cool nice little synergy there and then of course everything can be balanced out so it makes sense and it's fine and it's not overpowered and as for another combo that i would like to see that revolves around these unblockables i want to introduce a move called our uh, eternal eclipse so the way this works and the way i've mapped this out is the harbinger hits the target with a massive unblockable uppercut attack okay so he smashes them in in the air they go flying up of course they will suffer the crush mechanic and everything and after they're sent flying into the air this move can be followed up by a move called nevermore and the way nevermore works is the harbinger slams the target mid-air in the side so he just cracks the giant fucking hammer into the side of the target and then crushes them into the fucking ground now they'll take a bunch of damage from that and then of course they get up it's sort of like the centurion cutscene combo thing but i want to make it a lot quicker i don't want it to be like you know he sits there he runs he stabs you yells at you for a bunch gets up goes yeah fuck you buddy and then like you're sitting there for like ages just doing this i want it to be nice fast and fluid like the highlanders switching stances and stuff i wanted to basically you throw out the combo so you go bang with a normal attack and then you go for eternal eclipse now of course they can either depending on what you want to do balance wise you can make it one of the unblockable ones that can't be parried so you have to dodge it or of course you can make it a regular one so they have to parry it or dodge it but if they get hit by it they get slammed up in the air and then you basically get a short window to just follow it up with nevermore where you crash him in the side and just slam him into the ground that's a fuckload of damage right there and it puts your enemies on their toes they need to be nice and quick. And of course, it's really cool because it plays well into all the mechanics based with the character that I've got so far. And not to mention, it looks so fucking cool. We already have, uh, you know, heroes like the Shaolin where they jump up and they do their staff thing. We have the Centurion with his leaping thing. You could totally do this, make it look awesome, make it look nice and flashy and hard hitting and just, just make you hurt when you get hit by this thing. And of course, if you get hit by it, it's going to suck. But of course, if you're doing it to someone, that is going to be satisfying as fuck. And it all fits with the theme, which is really, really cool but apart from that i want the brand new viking hero to have a lot of chains you know i don't want him to run into the uh warlord syndrome okay where you know he's just very boring to play and he needs more stuff now nah, give him a nice opener give him some change i want him to have like a sort of bash opener sort of thing where he like you know shoulder barges someone that would be really cool. We don't have a hero like that yet. We have like, you know, some shoves and stuff, but the guy's going to be massive. So I want him to like, you know, just have this sort of thing where he just walks up and just fucking like shoulder barges someone, just like smacks him onto the ground or something. I don't know exactly what to do for the opener, but there's tons of things you can do. You can do like a shove. You can do a massive punch. You can do a shoulder barge. You can do a massive front kick. You can do basically that he gets his like weapon and he like smacks you with the butt of it. You can do anything really. Bashes and openers are pretty much it. Like Warlord has a headbutt for Christ's sake. You got this old dude running around going schmack. So yeah, opener wise, you can do whatever you want, but he does need an opener. Otherwise, we start running into some issues like a Roach and some other characters have. And the character I've come up with here can't rely on fast light attacks because he's not going to have fast light attacks. His entire gameplay is going to revolve around trading blows with hyper armor, unblockable heavies that can't be parried, unblockable heavies that can be parried, and of course, comboing up other moves and hitting them with the weight of reality crush effect 
passive so that way they can't run away from you and they have to fire you and you can continue to crush their soul. But that is what I got for the Harbinger and I cannot wait to see what this hero actually comes out and looks like. I really do hope they go for something like this, especially aesthetic wise. I want him to look fucking awesome. I want him to be themed around a more heavier style. I want him to have some more furs and stuff and more leather. I hope we don't get just more of the same of what we got. Make him different. Make him cool. Sort of like what they did with the Highlander when they brought him in. He was completely different in terms of how he looks and stuff. Do stuff like that. Black Pryor is a good example as well. Black Pryor looks sick. But with how well they did with Black Pryor, I have no doubt they're going to do well with this guy. And of course, the Samurai Axe Hero, which I'll do a thing on as well. And of course, then we have the uh, Chinese uh, Straight Sword guy as well. And uh, Ubisoft, feel free to uh, put this in as the Harbinger if you ever add him in as a, like an NPC or something like a Polyon. Feel free. Take it. It's all yours. But that is the end of the video, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. I love reading and replying to all your comments down below. And feel free to check out my Discord and Twitter. There is a link down below in the description box for both of those as well. The Discord is a great way for me to talk to you guys outside the YouTube comment section. And of course, the Twitter is a great way for you guys to get a notification whenever a video is being uploaded because YouTube is a bit weird sometimes. And if you like this video and you like what I'm doing here on the channel, and you want to support the channel further feel free to check out my patreon there'll be a link down below in the description box and a link will pop up at the end of the video and if you choose to donate it is greatly appreciated and a big shout out to my current patrons whose names you've been seeing in the background just wanted to say thank you for your support it really does mean a lot and please share this video around it does help me out a fuck ton and if you want to see more videos from me please hit the subscribe button i shall see you all in the next video have a good one guys if I